July day, they sent on their way from the 1400 meter marker. One of the first to go, Mumsy's Jet hopped away smartly, Valorant Firewoods right there. Just ask me, that's got the green sleeves and cap and run right on the outside of that Zordzika's in the club blue. Now followed by Samage and a couple of lengths off the leader. Firewood is now about four lengths off them as they move to the thousand meter area. On the outside of that one, Fulcrum. Then comes Classy Fighter, Gumby's near the rail. Down Under's in the blue and Master Archer's the trailer but it's very compact. Valorant continues to lead it, but on the outside, Samajan moves up now, there's only a half length in it between those two. Just ask me, and Valorant is right there, and Zordzika is in the club blue, Fulcrum's on the move around them in the red. They're followed by Firewood, who's being asked to quicken up, Mumsy's jet on the inside, then down under, Master Archer comes out, and Gumby goes in. They ride across the track, and it's wide open, Samajan, just ask me, moves in, down the inside, Valorant, Mumsy's Jet is still right there, Fulcrum on the outside. Just ask me, Valoran. Mumsy's Jet's a big runner on the inside. Just ask me, just the leader. And it's just ask me finding more. Just ask me, he's going to win it. Just ask me, won it. Mumsy's Jet second. Third, maybe to Albert. Valoran's involved, then Gumby. So there, the opening race. And it goes to number seven, Just Ask Me. Just ask me, Billy Jacobson and Gavin Finzale. They return on the toe tap. 19 rand a win. 19 rand a win for Just Ask Me. Third career win from eight outings. And Just Ask Me fought on courageously to win it. Mumsy's jet on the inside. That's got the green sleeves and the orange cap will run into second. But number seven, Just Ask Me. Continues to go. There's the salute from Billy Jacobson. And he opens up the first on Vodacom Durban July Day. Second to Mumsy's Jet. Third place that will go to 12 Albert. Then Valoran. Further back in the running, Firewood. Gumby. Down under. Fulcrum came wide out. Then Master Archer. Classy Fighter. Further back in the running is Zord Zico. So we look at the first on Polly. And the winner is two off the right. The green sleeves and cap. And Just Ask Me kicks away. And then Mumsy's Jet throws out the challenge. But Just Ask Me continues to find the horse by Seul Amor. And they end up winning it by about that next or so. Drifts from the outside of the track towards the inside. But is victorious. And number seven, Just Ask Me. There's the salute. And on the tote, as I say, 1960 a win. Four and 70 a place. Tote favourite was number six, that's Firewood, until the running of the second race on Vodacom Durban July Day. It starts off our first by part, it's on the poly, back to the studio. First race on Vodacom Durban July Day goes the way of the Gavin Funzel stable with Billy Jacobson and also Mr. Pariachi, the winning owner. Number seven, Just Ask Me, causes a bit of an upset to begin proceedings. Billy Jacobson, how does it feel to win on Vodacom Durban July Day? It's a great feeling. The, the crowd is electric and I'm just so happy to be riding here and have a win on the day. Well, one ride, one winner. You're going to leave with a 100% record, so uh, that must also feel great. Tell us about the race uh, that happened out there. It looked like you had a nice handy position. Yeah, I jumped out positively. Uh, Gareth and Gavin said, get him out there. However you're going, even if you find yourself in front, I thought they were going a bit quick. Sat on him and I felt perfect. Coming straight, just squeezed him along. And he quickened up and he kept finding and won a great race. It's easy to ask this question after the race, but were you expecting this type of performance? You know, at, um, at home he was working so well that I knew he had a big shot. Um, Coverland, Mr. Pavarotti and his family, they, they were very confident and uh, they came down from Joburg. Uh, big thanks to them supporting and Gavin and Gareth for giving me the ride. I remember when you won him at a maiden, you've been associated with him. He, he took uh, two runs or three runs to get out the maidens, but he beat a, a weak field on that occasion with all due respect. But he just seems to be getting better and better. Yes, you know what, I've, I've always had uh, confidence in him and I knew that he would go um, on, from strength to strength. Just needed a bit of time. He has a little few little problems here and there but uh, Gavin and Gareth they fix him up um, they get him spots on on the day 
and all credit to the stable and everyone involved. Well, you don't have a ride on the big one, but what are you going to have your 10 Rand on? I'm going to have my 10 Rand on um, the jockeys I like, which is Kune Offa, Warren Kenny and uh, Donovan Dillon. I'll go with them, the boys. Billy, thanks very much. Well done. Thank you very much. Well done to Billy. Billy, don't go too far away. You've got a prize from Delta Airlines. This, of course, is uh, Margaret Copeland, the commercial director from Southern Africa and Angola for Delta Airlines. So very well done. Thanks very much also, Mr. Copeland, for uh, all your time. Let's get uh, winning trainer Gavin van Zale into the picture. Once all the uh, photos are done, there's press from all over the place here. Gavin van Zale, big race day. Here you are. Well done. Yeah, great. Really wonderful. Um, we had two horses in the race. Down Under was my personal fancy of the two. I thought that he was maybe the best, but um, it, my worry was possibly a bit short for him. Um, but we, uh, we gave um, Kovilan's horse, just ask me, a, a chance to run into the money as well. And very well done to Kovilan. He's a new owner in the game and his family, and um, they've been loyal to Billy as well. And uh, we thought we'd put Billy back on, and uh, it's worked out very nicely. It's wonderful to, to open the day today. And I must say um, thank you to Delta and um, to Margaret Copeland and her team. It's fantastic to have Delta Airlines from America part of the fashion uh, parade here and part of sponsoring racing. I believe it's their first sponsorship into the July day and long may it last. We really are grateful for these sponsors and hopefully they have a wonderful relationship with Durban Turf Club and Vodacom July going forward. Well, this is why the Gavin van Zale Yard is so good at their PR. Well, you know what, we, we appreciate what we get. You know, and uh, our owners, the people out there, they make horse racing. We're just trying to you know, provide a service for what the people are expecting. And um, well done to Durban Turf Club. It's a fantastic day, well put together. To Michelle Nerick and uh, Robert Movis and the whole team, Grant Hawkins. What, do we, what more can we hope for? Beautiful weather. And I wish everyone out there a fantastic day's racing. And hopefully our horses going forward run well. We've got a nice card of horses. Right through, I think our horses will run well. And probably the next best is, you know, I don't even want to give it an assumption, but Red Carpet Captain will be right there again. ML Jet will improve um, from his run in the Daily News 2000. Um, Sun on Africa won't disappoint in heart of a lion. Say Agabur might sneak a place in the next. He's probably the weakest link, which he's had quite a hard campaign in Johannesburg. But I would throw my horses into, um, into, into permutations today. I think they're well. well. You've answered every question I was going to ask. Gavin, very well done. And uh, hopefully we see you again. Thank you very much. Here's your winning memento from Delta Airlines. Of course, we have a director of Gold Circle with us, Babu Noonan, uh, here to uh, represent Gold Circle. And well done to Gavin van Zale, the winning trainer of race number one on Vodacom Durban July Day. We will get the winning connections into the picture in just a moment with the son of Solomon. He's a three-year-old. He's uh, run for the eighth time today, and it's his third career win. Let's get them in here. Must get both of you in because you look absolutely fantastic. You guys must have entered the fashion show earlier this morning. Now, ask it, I'll ask Billy the same question. How does it feel to have a winner on Vodacom Durban Well, uh, This is like a fairy tale come true. Eh? It's been unbelievable. Uh, we knew he was a good horse and just disappointed us a couple of times. But today, I was confident. Number seven, number seven draw, seven's my lucky number. And I actually gave the Fonzales a tip and I said, don't regret it when the horse wins. Eh? Isn't French Navy number seven? Yes, and that's my horse as well. Not surprised to hear that. So there we go. Eh? So it's going to be the sevens today. But it's, it's, it's actually a dream come true. Uh, Garrett, fantastic character, uh, always given us confidence. Billy, brilliant jockey, always passionate, loves the game. And yeah, uh, well done to them. And uh, we're enjoying it. Now let's just quickly talk to uh, your other half here. Yeah? Better half, much better half. How long did it take you to come up with this? This must have been a few weeks in advance. I mean, let's be honest, this is all, this is horse racing, but people like you bring people to the course on this day. Oh, I, I, I've got no words to say. It's just, I wasn't in the mood to come, but when I knew Just Ask Me was running, then everything just flooded up. It's just, it's such a spectacular start to an awesome day, and we're really glad to have such a beautiful day. So, I'm, 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 I usually speak a lot, but I'm speechless today. That's fun. So you got the whole day to let this sink in? Yes, yes, very exciting and I expected this win to be honest, but if it, if it didn't win I would have been disappointed. But what a good start for a day like this. Eh? Very well done guys, great to see you. And I must say thanks a lot to the Pendale team, they did a fantastic job and thanks to Billy as well. Good job. So let's get uh, the owner's price. Yeah, one last word. Uh, to my kids that are watching in Johannesburg, Yashanti and Areshlin, Jess has me has done it again for you. So enjoy your day and we'll see you later. Well done guys. So here's the uh, winning prize from Delta Airlines. 
A little round of applause from the side as well. Well done to the winning connections of number seven. Just ask me, there's a whole entourage behind the camera here as well. And uh, nice to see them enjoying themselves and have a winner on this big day. And also not forgetting the groom's prize, which we'll get to in just a few seconds. Well done, guys. The winning groom is Manana Tongani. And uh, Manana will come and join us, kitted out in his red. And uh, you can collect your prize from Babu Noonan and also from uh, Margaret Copeland of Delta Airlines. There we go. Very well done to Manana. Your horse, as all the Gavin Fanzale horses, looked top class. So a few more pictures getting taken from the press from everywhere, all corners. And uh, that will round off proceedings for race number one on Vodacom Durban Gelade. The bar pot starts on race number two. I know the estimated pool for the quartet was a million rand in race one. We surged way past that. And there's a lot more to come at Gravel today. So just a reminder that the buy part starts off in the next race. The likely pool is 700,000 rand. The place accumulator starts off in the third race. Likely pool 